Alright, welcome back to Lux Spain. Last time, we stopped Yui from uh, murdering the, the guy that we needed to test. And, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, that's good. And, uh, now let's continue with, uh, episode 13? I think? Yeah. yeah. Episode 13, Snake Charmer. It's October 14th. It's a Sunday. Is it a lazy Sunday? Probably not. Oh, okay. Straight into this. Kiski's dreaming. Infinite images flashback. That, yeah, that's that's better than what that says, so I'll give you a pass. When I focus on more, it really is exciting. I didn't catch what he said, but okay. I see my dad's face. He was a good man. Never hurt anyone. Everyone loved him. The text you you kind of kind of lock him behind a little bit. Like you got the gist. My father sued the large trucking company over the his accident. Yeah, text. You you gotta gotta get on the ball here. The court said it was just the driver's mistake. Did wait, it was just the driver's mistake? What? His eyes filled with sorrow. My father died hating humanity. <laughs> His eyes were filled with sorrow. What? Who the fuck talks like that? I see my sister's shining, smiling face. Her smile made people around her happy. That's good. She uh -huh. tried so hard to cheer me up after my parents' death, but she must have felt good. You know, text, you're you're really dropping the ball here. She had a heart of gold, always finding something to live for, something to love. Yeah. Text, you're, you're not doing it. You gotta. What? Wait, 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 what? Hold on. Her screams of pain and pleas for mercy are ignored. Uh. Okay. Okay. I hear a voice. I chose to throw away God, defile His name. Yeah, it never mind. It's probably not her. I just they both th like the girl from the other few episodes ago died in a room alone, and uh, his sister apparently died alone too. And it was like, fuck God. The, I hear a voice from deep it. in my heart. What does your voice say? There are doors that cannot be opened without cursing life and preparing to go to hell. Uh, sure. That's, that, that's basically what that says. I, I guess. Text! Hurry the fuck up, man. You need to read this shit up. You're not. More okay, fine. That's tell me what that says. I'll give you power that not even God can give. Yeah, that's what it says. But by the time the text gets here, it's like, what? What did he even say? I forgot. <laughs> I whispered back to the voice. Okay, whispering and facing are not the same thing. But hey, whatever. Besides one thing, I have no desires. You know, never mind. I want power. Power to crush them. I'll give my soul and flesh to hell for that power. Bright white space. I look at the moon with polished tile. Text. You don't gotta. You don't gotta fuck up the voice. So we'll read you. I'm sorry. Come on. Something about four. 
looked up to where the voice was coming from. Beautiful man stood there. A beautiful man. Was it the chief? Is he, he beautiful? So blonde hair and beautiful blue eyes. No. Wait. Was that that guy we saw the other day? Like yesterday? And and what? Any woman would be jealous of his beauty. Wow. Okay. Uh, was that that guy we saw yesterday? From a fairy tale. The, it. Demons sometimes appear as angels. He heard me curse God and fate and came. Okay. Uh, alright. But I wasn't scared because there was no demon as bad as me. Are you sure it's not that guy that we saw yesterday? He smiled and kept speaking. Okay, what do you say? In final days, the dead come back to life. Zombies. That final day. Good. Okay, good. He was a crazy guy. Who? He's a crazy guy who knows who knows about silent and zombies. Apparently. You are a hunter of darkness, reborn as a soldier. Uh, sure. Your humanity's last hope, the last weapon against the darkness. That's basically what that said. Good job, text. This is how I first met Ray Frontier. Oh, it was Ray. Never mind. I don't. I've only seen Ray like twice. I don't know what he looks like. Anyway, after that, uh, that, uh, uh whatever that was. Good morning, about Detective Tanaka. I'm still analyzing the data and waiting. This is interesting. Before I could set up a trace hunt for it. He's a kid from your school, Sinji Nurse. Oh, no, Sinji's getting into the fucking system? Let's see? He set up an attack in late time last night. He got the decoy yeah. But his skill is awesome. Two years ago, the CIA didn't even get that far. The decoy contained info on a fake organization. It's very intricate with conspiracies and all. See, he went in circles with it, but... What about him? I bet he now thinks he found something. Anyway, I have data to analyze. Yeah, stop... Stop... Fangirling over Nars in... She d Rui, what do you want? I'm, I'm... I'm talking to my... To... To... What, what's up? What do you... What do you want? Wake up, Atsuki. Come to the hospital. Here we will come to. Don't miss the chance to be with three cute girls. <laughs> I never missed that chance. I, you know, I literally went out with cake. With, I went out with cake. Yeah, I did that. I do that often. I. Anyway, I think Vika's getting discharged, so that's good. Let's go see what's up. Oh, hi. How's it going? You came to see her too. Be careful, then. There are three hungry ghosts waiting in the room. But you don't seem to have brought anything. So you're okay. You must be mistaking the hospital for the cafe. Everyone... Eating everyone's gifts, talking so loudly, be complaining about how she's gained weight. What do they think they're here for anyway? They're embarrassing me in front of the other patients. They're always like that. You're a tough teacher. I've had a bunch of people say stuff like that to me. At least they're healthy. When the police called, my whole body shook with fear. I should have think that a student could get hurt. You know what I mean? I, I can't let it happen. It sounds weird, but I feel like the world is coming to an end. Well, I guess good we can rest easy now. Uh, I'm not sure how you move on from that, that sentiment. But okay, fine. I understand, but... You know those hungry monsters ask you to go buy some. Don't listen to them. Okay. Don't give in to the monsters. Don't buy them food. That's the room is filled with laughter. Ruby and Yoi are sitting around Mika on the bed. 
Joy is drawing something on a piece of paper while talking. Come here, Saito! Oh, hi! You actually have a voice line for once. We were just hearing about Rumi's love problems. She has love problems? Since when? Is it about me? Shut up, you idiot. Are you even listening? <laughs> Meaning that pretty boy can't be a coincidence. The pretty boy? I saw that pretty boy yesterday. He disappears just before crossing the street. Ugh, who are you? You've taken my heart! <laughs> <laughs> um, Mika, that's enough. Uh, texts. That's not not what you said. But okay, fine. Uh, I hate you. That's roughly the same thing. <sighs> Mika knows no fear. Uh, sure. You say so. Anyway, this is about a boy. It's about a boy. Was it the same boy I saw yesterday? Just walking around town, while shopping. Did he have blue hair? Was he kind he of a weirdo? Seems to be far away. First, she didn't really notice. Well, yeah, just because, dude. But one day she saw him at a crosswalk. Because he never used crosswalks. He was always the fucker walking out in the middle of the road, like he didn't give a shit. He was staring at her from across the street. That's kind of creepy. It's a little bit like stalking behavior. I don't, I don't like this. She tried to follow to talk to him. Ruri, don't talk to strangers. There was it's something bad. about him. Maybe it's it love. I don't know. Just a coincidence. He's a fucking stalker. Stay away. I well, I, I don't know. Deja vu or some shit. Don't ask of me. Of course, you see him all over the place. Oh, true. No, I felt that from the start. Deja vu or some shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? That mysterious feeling. That is a long lost love. Yeah, gotcha. Does he look like your dad when he was young? What? How would you? What? I thought about that, so I looked at an old photo. Okay. He had a shaved head and was sporty. Totally different. Hmm. How about a relative? Possibly. I thought of that too, but that's not it. Hmm. Love! It's love! <laughs> Mika's very on board. That boy must be your destined soulmate! <laughs> destined soulmate. Do you want to get beat down? That's roughly the same thing. The text is a little nicer about it, but fine. Dylan, how's this? I don't know. Let me see. Rish. Oh, that's. I don't. S gray text? What? Since when is there fucking gray text? That's crazy. You always showed everyone a portrait she drew of him. Whoa, it's uncanny! You painted that for my description? That. That's not a painting. That's the drawing. Just, you know, just, just so you know, that's the drawing. So this is the boy who stole Rui's heart. Oh, is that the boy that I saw the other day? I saw the I saw the boy, and I saw a dude with blue hair. It was weird. But yeah, I saw a boy yesterday. He, I was trying to get his shinins, but he, he escaped. Huh. Interesting. He grabs the portraits for Rui. Can Acts of infinite drama. Okay, this town is my territory. What? There's nothing I can't find. Uh. uh what? Go. Sure. Let's put out of this. Is. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. You leave the rest to me, you guys. Okay. I'll find this boy by tomorrow. Yeah, you go get him. Mika, don't have any consideration for people. I believe that you'll be able to leave tomorrow. Been so lively since yesterday. Read all the jelly that you brought you on your own. 
I'm getting even better at this stuff today. More lively than ever. A town problem child's coming back. So if you see a boy like this, tell me, okay? I saw him yesterday. Does that count? I think, anyway. It's okay. It might just be a simple misunderstanding. But, but you don't know. He may be the key to something important. Well, of course he is. If he wasn't important, you wouldn't be fucking talking about him. Dad's secret child, maybe. Oh no, drama. Your dad was unfaithful. Ah. Huh? That's not what I meant. Really? Dad was handsome, so just maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> Ruby, your dad might have been a player. I know you don't want to admit it, but maybe. Maybe that was a thing. I don't know. I don't know your dad. It's possible. Let's uh, go visit Rui again, because I can, I guess. I don't know. Rui's in a screaming match with a clauntily the go gaudily clad okay gaudily clad woman across the table from her oh is it is it who I think it is I, 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 I think I know who this is is it is it the yeah oh it was gotcha also a screaming match doesn't really fit this kind of dialogue, but okay, fine, whatever, hey, whatever, I don't know. First, I want to express my gratitude. Depending on the outcome, I'll pay twice as much. The problem isn't the cost. I'm only trying to protect the customer's futures. You can't just choose the future you'd like the most. Okay, do whatever. As one of you predicted, I'll marry a rich man. You can do that, right? Rumor has it that 100% of your predictions come true. I'm very sorry, but I cannot tell your fortune. Excuse me, you choose your customers? It's not that. I just don't feel very well today. She doesn't want to deal with your bullshit. She just told you that she just predicts them. She doesn't choose. She doesn't get to be like, oh, uh, I could tell her, oh, she could have these three futures, and I'm going to pick that one, and she's going to have it. That's that's not how this works. You gotta <laughs> whatever. Oh, I think I get it now. You're just not interested in my happiness. That's pretty cool. This is why I hate young girls. <laughs> that's okay. Did you know? Fortune telling is dying in this generation. Sorry for intruding. Hey you, come to your, f your fortune told to. He, you better go somewhere else then. This one's only good at pulling men. I already see another fortune teller. What, you old bag? Get the hell out, you're gonna catch a beat down. Oh, scary, what a violent fortune teller. Don't need to tell me, I'm leaving this pigsty. I'm outta here. Oh god, which one up which is obsessed with men? I hate her. She stinks like makeup and perfume. She's so old. She's totally unrelated. <laughs> this. I don't know why you even brought it up. Ah, uh, sorry I didn't see that. She came suddenly and I couldn't get her to leave. A waste of energy. I'll go rest in the back. Too tired today. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Rui. I sympathize with that whole situation. She wanted uh, this. She wanted her fortune to be this, but you try to tell her that that's not how it works. But she wanted it anyway. That's how it has to be sometimes. So don't worry about it. It'll be good. Fine. Anyway, let's go to the police station, and we're already here because, you know, yeah. Anyway. Kuyamase approaches the kids. 
notices the kids can and approaches him. Hi Yui, how is it going? So you did it yesterday. I was a little weird then. Michael's death's been on my mind. And when I saw him, I... No, it's in the past. Don't so worry, please. By the way, I know you knew the new chief. Aya Nagashima. She used to be with public security. All of a sudden, the change in personnel is welcome. Last chief was a weak, a weakling who shivered on cases. Apparently Nagashima was okay with, with meeting Yakuza. She's a solid in situation, I've heard. Plus she's strict. She won't stand for slacking. Looks as if we got someone to strive to be to be to, to best. There you go. That's what that's at. Oh yeah, you know already, huh? Guess that explanation wasn't really needed. Mark over here should surely say that. Ah, I can't can't eat like this, she'd say. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Ah, sorry, you here to see the the, the chief. Right. She's in a meeting now. Can you come back later? I'll tell her you came by. Oh! She gave me her their phone. Their, their email. And her message is, Please support anything about the incident to me. Which I, I sup What can you expect from a police officer, I suppose? So, there you go. Use card received. Uh, let's go to South End, I guess. Because we can. Oh, why this guy? I see this guy too much. Oh, why? <coughs> Give me a second. Okay. This guy. Why, Kitchen? Where did Miss Sakai go? I came to see the same film as yesterday. It was great. But the theater's closed. According to the clerk, the manager's gone missing. Oh, that's that's not good. What happened? Cannot see movies anymore. Oh, this sucks, Kitchen. Hmm. That's uh, not good. Uh, let's go to Pumpkin Witch. Because. Oh, we can? Sure. Why not? Hi, Maidlin, how are you doing? Ah, I really feel out of it today. Some weirdo came into my shop and harassed me. Come in, come in. Oh, that weirdo. <laughs> okay. So how about it? Uh, how about what? Making pretty good profit, aren't you? Why would you ask me about a thing like that? Work for the IRS or something. Oh, no, no. I just can't introduce myself and say hi. But really, so where's the gift? The gift? Oh, it's basically common sense in China. Only people who don't are idiots and babies. Oh, I see. Well, I'll bring something next time. So what do you want? Speak quickly. I just wanted your opinion about running a shop. My shop... This is again Area 3. Honestly, do you like it? I bet she's never even been there. Never heard of it. Don't really care either. Where do you think I had any interest in your shop? I'm busy enough with my own business. <laughs> I understand. Why do you laugh? I don't remember saying anything funny. No, I didn't mean it like that. Good. So we done here or what? Actually, I have one more thing I'd like to ask. What do you think of, you know... <laughs> this is... She doesn't like you, guy. Dude, just... Just, just, just go. Just shoo. Just get out of here. She clearly doesn't like you. I mean, as a man, you know. Don't make fun of me. I'm a serious woman. No way would I answer that. Get out. <laughs> she hit her with a stick. Ow, what the hell? You don't leave now, I'll beat you with this stick. Okay, sorry. That's what happened. 
they look like that big big of a floozy? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, you don't. So I better reassess my behavior. My dad found out. He's really angry. This isn't good. He's nice, but when he's mad... And that guy was the bad one, Dad. What we call the army. <sighs> Wait, what? You would call the army? Is... Uh, May is... Is, is your dad, like, high up in Chinese military? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. <sighs> I'm tired. Sorry you traveled so far. Come again, though, okay? But your coming has made me feel a bit better. Uh, it's easy, which means thanks, and thank you, parentheses. That's very helpful. Okay, cool. That was, uh, interesting. Let's go, uh, take a nap, I guess. Or is he Rio doing whatever you want? We're calling someone, I guess. I put him to uh, Rio uses the phone to call someone. Who's he calling? We're gonna eavesdrop on his conversations because that's what we do. Thanks, you saved me. I'm fine, not cold at all. Haha, I'm okay. Nope, no one bit. He's from the neighborhood. I've known him for years. Oh, yeah, uh huh. Like Hannah just said. I understand. I'll go apologize to him. Okay, I'll be waiting. What was that about? Thank you. Really, I'm sorry about that. Rio finishes and hands it to the, back to the old guy. Rio, what? what? What's up? Ah, good morning. Um, what's that? The security system is acting strange. Further bad luck today. Ms. Ida has the day off. I need to call the security company. But I don't know their phone number. But I can't understand. I would I forget these things? I have a good memory. Especially for studying. Each time I worry about this issue. You told me it's who I am and not to worry. But the words make me worry. Why am I this way? I don't think a manager should have these problems. What do you think? Can you tell me about my personality? Uh, about myself? I don't know why I tell you about myself, so I, I don't know. No idea. You think so? The philosophical answer. I think this is me asking someone about myself. I mean, wait. Did I, I thought I clicked... Uh, I don't know, but... Okay, whatever. Doesn't mean I should keep my store open. Oh wait, is my definition the right one? When I found the security number in my store, she said, Yes, that's it. I forget many small things, I doubt myself, and I ask many questions, that is me. Thanks, it's clear now. Huh? Security company's company. Okay, I gotta go. Uh... Miss Honda? We were surprised because we found that part timer get a security company car. You work for the security company too? Don't you remember I lived near the security company? D did you? I just to drive me here and I can help. Okay, put in the code, open the store. Oh, I get a phone call. It's my turn. Get a phone call. Oh. Meeting finished. Asuka, can I meet you? I want to, want to ask something. I'll wait in my office. Okay, uh, let's go see the chief. I haven't finished yet. I contacted the fort, but the analysis wasn't done. I'm on vacation. I can see it drifting away. Moving on. This is Inspector Naka's report. I'm going to check everyone here for some. Of course, if you use Sigma, I'll go a lot faster. It's exhausting, so we'll use this device first. Then use Sigma on those who answer strangely. Why not want this citywide? But let's be real. Please, excuse me. So, she gave us a device or something? 
Okay. Interesting. What? Got it. I'm on my way now. What? That's not good music. One of our own apparently just robbed a bank. What? <laughs> Someone robbed a bank? The officer stopped him and it's all well now, but... He seems like something's gone wrong. Go with me. A cop robbed a bank! What the fuck, man? We got a corrupt cop in this... this... Oh. We could bear in the bank. Have we been there before? I don't know. Test report, fill me in. Yes, ma'am. Officer Mudo stole $2,000 and ran off. A patrolling officer nabbed him near Kistragi Station. Was Officer Mudo loitering anywhere for a long time? Can, can you repeat that? Was he looking for any gaps in security? No, that wasn't mentioned. So, who do you threaten? I know that. The one in the booth right there. Let's see, thanks. There should be a visual scene in there. We're really using signal, okay? You don't gotta tell me twice. I got you. Oh, it's at this, that little booth there? I thought it'd be at one of the things in the back, but okay. Debt return. Interesting. Okay, what's debt return about? The Sheenan left by the robber. There's no feeling of regret. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this is about then. Give me the money. Hurry up. I'll get caught. Gambling debt's gonna pay it back. Fired if I get caught. Damn. Why just me? My salary sucks. It's not enough. It's not my fault. Yeah, that's pretty cut and dry. He doesn't give a shit. He got gambling debts. What kind of Sheenan you see? A rotten, bloodthirsty Sheenan? Kiski answered that it, the Sheenan was that of a regular criminal. Yeah, pretty much. He has gambling debt. He wants to pay it back. His salary sucks. There you go. That's about it. Good. Just another robber. That's not something the police chief should say. <laughs> We're gonna check everyone for sight. Like I said. Take a few days. That's right. What was I thinking? The vacation's after the office since the investigation. But wait a sec. I told Ford about my silent check. I wonder what'll happen. Well, my vacation's gonna be wiped off the calendar. Gotta go. We'll talk later. Go get your, go get your vacation. Quick. The other officer's watching. <laughs> I get tears out running out of the bank. I got a message. Who's it from? It was from Mika. That boy. I can't wait. How's that mysterious boy read for me? It's like being a PI. Leave it to me. I'll find out. I mean, you're already kind of a PI. I mean, reporters kind of similar to that thing. So, you know. Uh, let's get the sweet ring. Because... Uh, we haven't been here, like, three times in this past week, at all. Like, seriously, we went with the teachers, and then we went with, uh, Rui and Yoi yesterday. It's like, too much, man. And we're going again. Oh, hi, Kira. What are you doing here? Hey, Sergio. Hey, Kira. Something up? You said, come on in, right? Huh? But we're friends. You moron! You're supposed to say welcome to our customers. Jeez, sorry. Hey, the reason to shout. It's because you started it. Well, there's plenty of time to relearn it all. You serious? I'm a hundred percent now. Got a lot of strength, you see. So I'll pat around here for a while. Why don't you? As a waitress? You guys are waiters, idiots. Or do you really want to wear a skirt? <laughs> Stop with the jokes. But you've changed. Your smile has gotten bigger. What? What kind of smile have I been making until now? You 
Keep on make me say it. No, that all I'm not saying. That horrible face. You're a jerk, Dad. Yeah, your mother. <laughs> I thought that was okay. Your mother says it was like a gorilla when you started a scary face. What's a gorilla like? You make the same face. Ha, ah, your mother said I was a little more manly. No way mom said that, but... Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. She always praises her looks. Said he was an angel. Zachary received an angel, she would say. I'm sure your mother is happy that you helped me, Kyle. Don't let your guard down. Understood. At this point, you would retrain your mind and body. Cake baking skills, too? But that's what you want. <laughs> Side of mighty, son is in your hands. So what's up, Akira? This means when you're free, you'll hop out here. Swing by and try out my cooking, will you? You still completely lack the skill to bake cakes. Well, come back to Catch you around, Saito. Uh, okay. That was a lot. I think he was talking to himself, mostly, but... Whatever. Oh. Hey, Rui, you okay? Your feet are staggering. Yeah, it's said I'm totally fine. Uh... Did... Okay, uh... That's not Rui, that's Yui. There's a difference there. They're, they're related, but they're not the same. Huh, you know that, see. <laughs> What was that? Do something. You know him better than me. I've even been to his house once. Heavy drinkers drink everything too quickly. Even with this body. Ah, she woke up. Hey, chief. To tell you the truth, I'm a little late. You gotta be kidding me. You drink ten Brady's in less than an hour. Okay. <laughs> Damn. No way. No friggin' way. But, I said... I'm always the first one down. It's true. Mako always says, get your act together. Yeah, Mako is super strong. But, when did I... Okay, okay, I gotcha. I to warn you, I'm a lightweight. Are you coming next time? I'll definitely join you. Sure, thank you very much. I look forward to it. Hey, not so fast. Well, see you later, Atsuki. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, you go that fast, you hurt yourself. You fade off in the sunset of the city. It's a little early to be drinking, but hey, whatever. Do whatever you want. You're, you're both adults. Hi, Rui. How's it going? Ah, Saiju. I found Saiju. You seem good. You seem okay. Good. Can you to come close? What? Rui, what's going on? Are you okay? Hit my sister. I just got a call from her. Miss Saijo, <laughs> she's obviously drunk. They got a bit suspicious about you. I don't think you do anything naughty, though. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I. I don't have anything to say about that, really. I mean. Ruby's a straight shooter, as always, so. Anyway, don't get too close to drunkards. This is just drinking with the new commissioner. I haven't met him. It's a her. But he's, he seems really nice. Also, it's a her. So you know. This just sounds like she's having fun. I was relieved. I haven't seen her like that for a while. So carefree and talkative. So he shines so hard, right? Never really seen her just cut loose. See? She's so much more serious than me, right? Okay, you can laugh now. She never say stuff like that. So I worry more. Takes the burden for everything, you know? So I was relieved. He's having so much fun. Who had fun when Mako was still alive? Can I get back to work? What should I do? Should I go see my sister? No, I guess not. See you later. 
Bye, Ruby. Let's go to the 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 the, the ghost murder mansion. Cause why not? Ah, I'm so tired. Is this Sinji? No, it's the other guy. Not Sinji. Hey, Sinji. Out on the walk. I'm so tired. I'm not cut out for work where I gotta use my head. It's having nurse teach me about hacking. But I just don't get it. It's a miracle that he can type so fast. I just gave up. Nurse is really something. He's a real net prodigy. Keeps getting all kinds of info right and left. Even from countries at war. Tight security. Here he's gonna sneak into the Department of Defense. Don't tell my torch. They're gonna get info on the country I'm going to. I don't wanna upset him. Now on, it's guys like him that'll be in charge. Really felt that. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll get some food in the pool. Uh, okay. Let's go home. Or go into Rio's store. Sorry. Because we can, pretty much. No problem. I'll have it, in, I'll have it tomorrow. I'll bring it to school. Poor me. Well, I asked. And Sasuke is here. At least that's how I speak. I have something I need to do. Sorry. Oh. That's weird. He's only asked me about books on the old statue. Seems to be trying to research the town statue. My grandfather owned a mini books about it. So I can help. But I'm surprised. It's weird he came here. It's the first time. We only try to avoid each other. I think the books are only valuable if you read them. But he hasn't come since we don't get along. It's kind of stupid. I ask him to come more. more. Ask you if you need any help, ask me. I have to get back to work. Alright, we'll do. Now I get texts. I get some more texts to me email numbers. Okay, guys, that's enough. I have too many emails. Got four frickin' emails. Everybody. Alright, start with Miss 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 Booze herself. Yui. What's up? I'm at Ruby's house now. I feel pretty good. Ruby's in the shower now. Okay, I'm gonna go take a peek. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Do you, do you do that? You go go do that. Sinji, Mr. Adaka. Mr. Adaka is unique, huh? I was talking to him at home. I'm surprised to hear his hobby is TV drama, like me. He's seen more sh foreign shows than me. Okay, fine. Uh, Remarka, anime song. Hmm. Days off are depressing. Your video games next door all morning. Bing, bing, boom, all day. After that, it's cartoons. Punk kid sings along with the song. It gets so annoying I kick the wall. Okay. And for Ruby, my sister's in the office. Beer cans everywhere. She fell asleep and her snoring is horrible. I'm glad to see she's feeling better. Good night. Well, that's that's good. That's good. Anything else to do? Nope. Go home. Oh. Hi, how's it going? Do you remember Hosh Kino Hoshino? I have some bad news and some good news. First the bad, I set it up that Yamato would come to the seaside park, but he didn't show up. I don't think anyone leaked information to him, but I think Yamato is too busy. He doesn't leave for you. Either reason. We tried something else. Pikas gave us info. I checked Kuno's mind and got the plan. I tried to occupy the town with military forces. They've taken over everything and want to have a revolution. It's an old way of thinking. It's a very big project, so maybe it's silent. Are you waiting for the results? You stay? You stay here, you have to prepare. <laughs> She's, she doesn't like this talk. Shut up, Yi. What do you know? Don't want to ask you without permission. You think we're okay with that? I don't care. It's stupid. 
So does that mean we don't have to do anything? The fort won't give us orders. We need to decide how to act at a crime scene. You are... Nice to talk to me, but I have to go. Bye. Huh. Detention in the ranks. Wait! That uh, is annoying. I'll complain later. It's happy because I was finally could tell him. They bothered me and destroyed my happiness. Now so you don't listen to what he says. First of all, he said he couldn't trust me. That's why we got so many tests. Anyway, I found he's a liar. Hello Atsuki, what's up? I'll do viewing again. I cleared all the tests. First time for Picus. The doctors were surprised. But it's not so big a deal. I'll let you know when I find something. Okay, cool. Let's go home then. And get a call. Did you hear about Hoshino from you? Yeah, I did. I found about the riot three days ago from his mind. But we don't think I want to trust you now. Maybe the plan changed. We will prepare for that. I told Aya to keep guard around the police and Seagull. It's rather our inspection of detective of detective than the field. Could have helped us with the Shizenga case. Now we're in the dark. His mind is gone and nothing left. Fuck! Man, it, it, you fucked it up. Another new case. Research team has started. And we'll continue. Husky, please wait a little longer. Okay, good night. Well, that was. Not much really happened. Really? It was just kind of a, you know, settling down kind of. kind of episode. Literally, actually, because we got through it in an episode without stopping, so. Uh, there you go, I guess. Anyway, uh, we come back to Lux Pain next time. We'll start episode four and maybe finish that in one video? I don't know. Anyway. Uh. Uh. Um. If you're gonna get drunk, do it with uh, friends that you can trust. And also, uh, keep a handle on your texting because you could give bad impressions. Uh, sure, yeah. There you go. That's that's my advice for today. So, if you're gonna get drunk, do it with friends that you can trust. And uh, if you get drunk. Um, don't, don't text people or call people because you could, uh, give your sister weird, weird thoughts about her friend and, uh, stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's about it. Anyway. Yeah, uh, until next time.